I know I got a lot, but at this point, it's pretty much expected. Hello everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. So today, we are doing a video that I know a lot of you guys were expecting and waiting for. It is my Korea stationery haul. I'm sure a lot of you guys know by now, but if you've been following along with my vlogs or my social media, then you'll know that I recently visited Seoul, South Korea. If you haven't seen my vlogs yet, I vlogged the whole thing. I highly recommend you check them out because honestly, travel vlogs are always my favorite because they're like my memories, but in video form. So I work really hard on those ones. I'll link them above as well as down below. While I was in Korea, I did some shopping, specifically some stationary shopping. <laughs> a lot of you guys were telling me that the stationery in Korea is really good, which I was very curious to see how it would compare to Japanese stationery because I also went to Japan earlier this year and that was like stationery heaven. I already knew it was gonna be because a lot of stationery companies are actually Japanese. So I was interested to see how Korean stationery would compare and how it'd be similar and different. And guys, um, I bought a lot. I'm just gonna say that straight up from here. This video is gonna be really long. So of course by the title you guys know that this video is gonna be only stationary, but I did also do a separate haul of the other things that I bought from Korea. So if you're curious as to what clothing and souvenirs and makeup and skincare stuff that I ended up buying from Korea, then I will link my haul as well. But this is just gonna be a stationary video. I literally had to separate them out because I knew that it would be too long if I combined it into one video. Oh, I forgot to mention that I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway at the end of this video and it's going to include a bunch of the stationery that I bought, some beauty items, some random Korean goodies that I ended up buying for you guys. So if you are interested in winning like a little Korean prize package, make sure you stay to the end, stick around so you can find out how you win. Today's video is actually brought to you by Skillshare. If you guys don't know what Skillshare is, they're an online learning community with thousands of classes on illustration, the arts, business, pretty much anything you can think of. And I actually teach a class on there as well. If you guys are interested in Skillshare, premium membership will give you unlimited access to all of the high quality classes so you can try something new, improve your skills, and it's actually really affordable as well with an annual membership starting as low as $10 a month. I'm actually currently taking a calligraphy class by Seb Lester and it's been so amazing. I've learned a lot. I know a lot of you guys are also interested in stationery and calligraphy, which is why you clicked on this video. So I highly recommend you check that class out. So if you do want to try out that class, my class, or any other class, be sure to click the link in the description box below. Skillshare is offering my viewers two free months so you can start learning now. All right. Back to the video. Okay, so now that I have my suitcase of stationery open in front of me and I'm looking at all of the stationery that I hauled back to Canada, I would say that it can be separated into like four different categories, which are stationery that I got from Artbox. And Artbox is like one of the main stationery chain stores in Korea. Uh, they have a bunch of different locations. And when I had asked you guys for suggestions of stationery stores, that was definitely the one that came up the most. The second category is like character stores. So that would include BT21, which you guys know I love, and anything cute and uh, cartoon character, which they have a lot of that in Korea. Third category is like artisanal little stalls and side booths. These are more like independent, uh, handmade type of stationery. And then finally we have like souvenir items, stuff that I found at like tourist location. And I think I want to start off with the artisanal handmade sort of stationery. Not that it's handmade, but I mean, it's in like independent little stores and there's a lot of stores like that in Korea. That was actually one of the main things that I found different from Korean stationery to Japanese stationery. Maybe it's just the areas that I went to in Korea and Japan, but I found that in Korea, they had so many little independent stores where inside they would all have different uh, stationery and post-it notes and washi tapes that were unique to that store, especially in places like Hongdae. I don't know the exact store name, so I really apologize. I'll try to like dig through my receipts and find the store specific store names and write it down below in the description box for you guys. But there's so many little stationery stores in Hongdae, not the clothing area of Hongdae. Hongdae is kind of like there was this one area that was like very trendy and hip and there's so many like vintage stores and clothing stores. And then there's this other area that had a lot of this, these stationery stores. 
Okay, so from the first Hongdae store, I got a bunch of stickers. I've been really into journaling and travel journaling and K-pop journaling. Um, and I actually recently got a traveler's notebook and I've been using stickers a lot. I have some like floral ones. There's ones with illustrations of these girls. There's also these stickers with stationery on it, which would have been handy for my September bullet journal theme because I did a stationary theme. These ones look like hand-drawn, they're like black and white and they have little speech bubbles and even labels, like there's ones for birthday, a trip, a girl's night out. So these ones would even be cute to use like in a planner or your bullet journal if you wanted to stick like the birthday one on someone's birthday. In the Korean stationery stores, there was a lot of different puppy stickers and washi tapes and I went a little crazy. Just a warning, this is the first of many dog related stationary items in this haul, but these stickers are so cute. It just has these illustrations of little puppy heads. There's like different breeds and some of them are colored in and some of them aren't, which I thought was cute because it can go with uh, whatever journaling vibe you have. As I was looking at the sticker on the back, I remembered that I wanted to mention that Korean stationery is really, really affordable. This sticker sheet was 2,800 won, which is about $2 US, $2 to $3 US. I would say that nothing that I got was more than $5, especially all the little like washi tapes and stickers and that, those were like a dollar or two dollars. Okay, yes, uh, some more puppy stickers. I warned you guys there'd be a lot of puppies here. These ones are so cute. They're like a little bit holographic too. And um, they're really simple. It's just like a plain color. And then in one of the Hongdae shops, I found this little like pack. It came in like this Ziploc and it's almost like a journaling pack because inside it has a bunch of things that are within the same color palette. There's like sticker papers and stuff that all have this like sunset palette going on. So I thought that was a cute idea to kind of like sell little scrapbook journaling packets like this because then you can use a lot of the elements on one spread and you'll know that it's co cohesive because it came from the same pack. I really liked this sunset one and on the little postcard it says at the end of the day uh, and the stickers also have like little quotes as well, like happy hour, sunset, the sun will shine on you again. I got a couple of paper goods, like post-it notes, sticky notes, uh, and postcards. Kind of matches the little sunset pack that I just showed you guys, but I honestly think these are literally just postcards because it's just printed on some cardstock. I have a little display board near my desk where I like pin up cute pictures or motivational quotes and I thought that would be cute. Or even just to like tape in to a journal spread. I just love the like sunset uh, pattern. These ones have moons actually on it and there's a couple quotes on it that I chose the quotes that spoke to me. Uh, this one says, life is a book, we fill the pages. And then this one says, you are enough just as you are. And then I also got a couple of sticky notes. This one, again, matches the sky vibe. I guess I was really liking the, the sky imagery, but these post-it notes are so pretty. They're like light pastel powdery blue with just an image of clouds printed. And I really like that because it's still light and simple enough for you to actually like write stuff down and to focus on what's on the post-it note but it just adds a nice little touch, especially if you like stick it in your bullet journal. Of course, where else would I stick it? The other sticky notes I have, uh, this one is one with the to-do list. I thought it was cute because the check boxes are actually rainbow clouds. And then these ones have a really pretty pink cherry pattern around it. And then there's a white circle in the center where you write all this stuff, so love those. So that's all I got from Hongdae <laughs> as I go to more and more stores. Uh, the categories progressively get a little bit larger. So moving on to the next category, which is the souvenir and tourist shops. Just like Japan, a lot of the tourist locations that you go to in the gift shops, they actually sell stationery and washi tapes and things like that as one of the items, which I love. If you watch my Japan stationery haul, then you'll know that that was the beginning of me collecting an insane amount of washi tapes because whatever landmark I would go to, they would have a matching washi tape in the gift store. So it just called out to me, but uh, Korea was the same. A lot of the tourist gift shops had stationary items. So first uh, I went to the Gyeongbokgung Palace. That was so much fun. We dressed up in hanbok and everything. It was honestly one of my favorite parts of the trip, but from that stationary st gift store, I mean, not stationary store, I got this card that had a 
little hanbok. It's like origami hanbok on it. I thought it was so, so beautiful. And I'm not even sure if I'm gonna end up using this because it's just so pretty. Like it's too pretty to use as a card. I just liked the way that it looked and the papers that they used are like embezzled or like embossed with stuff. So I thought it was a good souvenir to get, especially since I did dress up in full hanbok. Another hanbok related thing that I got are these scrapbook stickers. They're like 3D stickers. And again, they're really intricately cut out with like gold foil on it. And there's the henbok gowns and the hats and everything. So I thought these were so beautiful. I wanna make a Korea travel memory spread and these will definitely have to go in there. I got a couple of postcards, again, mostly just for like hanging up on my little display board. Not for actually sending. <laughs> I don't know. Do people actually send postcards still? I don't know. But I just chose them based off of the designs that I thought would go well on my little wall there. So this one has an illustration of the palace. Actually, all of them has, have illustrations of the palace, but these ones have some cute characters on it as well. Finally, I got this one that has uh, this traditional Korean flower painting on it. I forgot the name of this style of traditional Korean painting, but it's a really famous style of painting and you see it a lot in the palaces. like on the actual architecture. This floral pattern is uh, painted on a lot. So I got it on a little postcard, which I thought was really beautiful. And then I got this cute little notebook. It's really small, really thin. It's just like a pocket notebook. And the print on the cover of the notebook is again, a very traditional Korean print. I saw this type of style a lot on the palace walls. I also picked up this ballpoint pen, which has uh, the back says palace decor pattern ball pen. So yeah, all around the pen, you see the traditional ornamental Korean designs, which I thought were really, really pretty. And then from the palace, they had a lot of washi tape packs. So I got a bunch of them because I knew I wanted to include it in the giveaway. Uh, but I have some with just those traditional patterns on it. And then these ones have more like actual objects on it. Like I don't want to open it, but you can see like some of the royals, like the royal kings and queens and stuff on it. Um, there's some floral designs going on, which I thought was so, so cute. And of course, it's a nice thing to add to my collection of travel memory washi tapes. So another touristy landmark location that we went to was Namsan Tower and it's this really tall tower, very similar to the CN Tower for any of my fellow Toronto people out there. But the tower is actually near a big mountain, which is Namsan, San means mountain. And you can go up the mountain with a cable car, which was so, so cool. Again, this is all in my vlog. I don't know why I'm recounting it, so go check that out. But because uh, you go up the cable car to see the views as you're going up the mountain, uh, in the gift shop, they had this washi tape that has the cable car windows with different views, which I thought was so, so cute. It's hard to explain, so you'll just have to see it for yourself, but the print is basically just the windows of the cable cars and different views are in it. Like sometimes it's nighttime, sometimes there's this person in it. Oh my God, this is so cute. It's so impressive how each window is a different view, like it's not repeated too often. Final things that I got were just two postcards. It says Seoul on it and it has a bunch of the uh, main landmarks. You can see like the palace and, and, and Seoul Tower and stuff. Again, I don't know why I got really into collecting postcards in Korea. Is this another thing for me to start collecting? I have some miscellaneous items. So I went to uh, Bukchon Hanok Village and they had a lot of different stalls of different vendors and this person had the most beautiful enamel pop sockets i meant to include this in my other haul but i forgot but i i wanted to show you guys because i actually got two of the exact same one uh, because i thought it was so so beautiful so we can be matching with our pop sockets but it's just like this shiny enamel and then there's a moon with the stars in the background and waves and the actual moon and the waves are in this like oyster seashell material so it looks holographic when it hits the light. So next, this is another miscellaneous item that I got from a different vendor. This was from Insadong and that's an area in Korea that has a lot of traditional souvenirs and shops and foods. So if you're looking for like traditional stationery like the calligraphy brush pens and, and all of that, definitely recommend that. But I happened to find these pressed flowers which I thought were so, so pretty. Like imagine these just daintily taped in to a bullet journal spread. Oh, I love it. It like 
definitely gives a rustic feel and I love that they're pressed for you because like I'm lazy also I live in a city so I don't even know where I'd find flowers to press myself so the fact that it's already done for you is perfect and then we also went to the SM Town Museum which was so much fun and in their gift shop they were selling washi tapes for each of their groups which so great. I mean, it's two things that I love, washi tape and K-pop. My favorite SM group and actually one of my all-time favorite groups uh, is NCT. So they had an NCT 127 Cherry Bomb related washi tape. And you know, I had to pick that up real quick. I actually haven't even seen the pattern. So I hope this is my first time seeing what it looks like. I just got it because I was like, NCT 127 Cherry Bomb washi tape? Sign me up. Oh my god, no way! That's so cute. It's very similar to the um, cable car washi tape, actually. There's these like little rectangles, but it actually symbolizes the frames in the music video, and there's illustrations of the music video, so you can see like the choreography and stuff. Oh my god, that's so fun. I'm glad I got this. All right, so speaking of K-pop, we might as well use that as a segue into the next category, which is the character section and a lot of that is encompassed by BT21. When I went to the BT21 stores in Korea, it was like a whole new world. I've been to the BT21 stores in New York and LA, but the Korea stores are on another level. There's like two floors in one store. Some of them have cafes at the top. I'm gonna start with the item that I have never seen before. I didn't even know this existed and it's definitely unique. I found BT21 packing tape and this is a collaboration with scotch tape like the scotch tape brand and on it it's just clear tape with the bt21 characters lined up as if they're peeking out and it's literally meant for packaging boxes so when you like put the tape on the seam of the box it looks like the characters are peeking out which is so cute it's also just like so unnecessary like i have clear packing tape already but it's this is cute packing tape. And I'm just gonna say this right now, whoever wins the giveaway, you can 100% bet on the fact that I will be packaging your giveaway box with this tape. So next I got this pencil case and as you can see, it's chimmy in like sausage form <laughs> and you just zip it open in the back and uh, put all the pencils inside there. But I thought it was hilarious how he was like basically splooting out like this and he was elongated and then i got a couple of notebooks these ones are very different from the notebooks that i have already from bt21 first of all it's actually its own collection they had a bunch of bt21 products that had these like food related bt21 things um and the notebooks were different as well so this one is a coil notebook and it says Tata rings and as you can see Tata is on a cereal box but i like the the color combination of this and then the other two notebooks, these ones are very unique. I haven't seen BT21 release notebooks like this before. They're pretty thick. And I actually think these are a sketchbook. So it's plain blank on the inside. So this one is Mang Bubblegum. And then this one is RJ Popcorn on the front cover. I like the vintage food related designs they have going on there. I got some stickers and I actually do have some BT21 stickers already, but these ones are actually masking stickers. And I think the reason why they call it is because it looks like the same texture as washi tape. You know that like translucent, papery type of material. So these ones would be good if you want to use them in your bullet journal and write over top of it or something because it is that like matte texture. I got Mung and I also got Koya. Final two items, I got this cookie stamp. It's actually kind of a genius idea because you basically get three different stamps in one and the different stamp designs, one says, Thank you, love, and good. The last thing that I got isn't actually even stationary, but I had to get it because when we went to Korea, it was our mission to find some baby BT21 items. And unfortunately, the stores were all sold out of it. The only thing they had were these magnets and I don't even know what I'm gonna stick a magnet onto. My fridge is not magnetic. I don't have a locker like when I was a student or anything. The baby Shooky was just so adorable and I had to get it. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. It's baby Shooky. look at him. Okay, so the next character store that I went to was Cacao, Cacao, Cacao? 
cacao friends <laughs> but there's a bunch of them in korea and it's definitely really huge there and i fell in love with ryan the bear the little bear character so i got a ryan coil notebook and it says let's draw i'm ryan king he's just so cute i love it i also really love the a peach character i got both ryan and a peach stickers um, I also got Ryan and a peach like these little pocket notebooks as well. Okay, and then these are interesting These are these are like washi tapes. It says masking tapes on it But I can see on it that it's like individual stickers in roll form So you basically just unroll it and each is each thing is its own sticker I hope that makes sense, but I thought that was so so interesting. I've never seen that before. These are autumn related a peach and ryan so they're holding like acorns and they're like all harvesty <laughs> i don't know i thought it was fun and i wanted to test out this weird sticker washi tape hybrid i know it might seem like i bought a lot but keep in mind i would say about half of this is going to you guys finally i got the uh, a peach erasers and there's three of them and each one has a different a peach emotion emoticon on it like this one's smiling winking sleeping and i thought they were so cute i need to stop saying i thought they were so cute it's basically everything in this video because why else would i have bought it and then this is the last item these are highlighters and there's three different ones there's a peach ryan and then what's this oh my god i know this character's name this is gonna kill me for the rest of the day all right we have made it to the final category of items and i've definitely saved the biggest category for last this is all of the items that i got from artbox and i'm trying to figure out a way to describe artbox to you guys because it's definitely a little bit different from tokyo hands which was the main store that i went to when i was in japan i would say that artbox had more of a cute vibe to it than tokyo hands because there was a lot more character items so if you're into that you definitely love art box and just like tokyo hands though it did have a lot of other things besides stationery there was some home goods a couple like phone case things things like that so it wasn't only strictly stationery but obviously i stayed in the stationery section let us dig into this pile of things i noticed that art box had a lot of these smiley fruit characters on a lot of their items and i fell in love so i got this little this is a plastic folder for papers i have a lot of papers since i work from home so sometimes i need to divide things out i thought this was uh, a good way to do that um there's also this stationery set with the same peach smiling character so there's like little letterhead and some envelopes and then i got another little uh letterhead envelope set so this one is actually on craft paper and has little brown hearts printed all over it. And I love that it was craft paper. I've been loving the craft paper rustic vibes. So these are definitely up my alley. And I like that it has like small hearts printed on it instead of like a, you know, a big bold print or like a colorful print. So it keeps things neutral. I guess I'll finish up all the notebook and paper items since we're kind of in that realm right now. Oh my God, I forgot I got these. Okay. <laughs> um, so these are, little scratch board notebooks. I don't know if you guys remember when you were a kid, but it was like this black paper and then you use this plastic pen. It has like a, literally there's no ink in it. It's just like a plastic tip. And then when you would press down on the paper, it would reveal like a rainbow type of design underneath. So it's like a rainbow scratch board. As soon as I saw this, it took me back to my childhood. So I had to get it cause like, I just want to play around with it. Um, and I got an extra one for you guys. Again, with the smiley fruit characters, I I'm telling you guys, I, I thought it was the most adorable thing. So this little notebook has the um, smiling lemons all over it. At Artbox, I noticed they had a lot of different sticky notes and stamps and uh, stickers and that type of thing. So I spent a better portion of my time there trying to reduce the amount that I was buying. Didn't go so well. <laughs> these sticky notes, actually, I'm, I'm, I know I'm gonna get a lot of good use out of these. These are craft paper sticky notes. I have never seen that before. As I mentioned, I've been loving the craft paper and the fact that these are in sticky note form is so handy because if I want to use them in a journal spread, I can just keep it in my pencil case and I have craft paper ready to go because 
a lot of the times when I'm using craft paper, I just recycle it from like a paper bag or whatever, but obviously it's hard for me to carry around a paper bag to rip up. This one has uh, a shark on it and he has a little heart in his hand and it reminded me of the song Baby shark, baby shark, doo -doo 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 -doo. and then I have these ones, which are just a polar bear at the top, and I love that. I love the shape that he's in. He's in like this cylindrical shape, and it just looks like he's like a big cylinder of of polar bearness. And then these sticky notes are actually meant to be tabs, which I thought were so cool. I've never seen these before. As you can see, it is in the shape of a penguin and it's duplicated. And how it works is, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this, but let's say this is your paper of your notebook or something. This is, my hands are the sticky notes. You just fold the two sticky notes together and then it creates one penguin and then it the penguin just like sticks out from the side of your notebook and you can label it uh, however you want. So these stickers I actually think are going to be very functional. Um, they're just a whole sheet of alphabet stickers and I really liked the font as well as the color palette that they were in. So they're like pastel colors. There's actually four different sheets in one pack and each sheet has four different alphabet sets. So in total, you get 16 alphabet sets, which is pretty good, especially considering this was uh, 1,300 won, so like one to two dollars. And these would be great to use not only like in journal spreads, but even if you want to like label things around the house. I forgot I got these, but these stickers are like 3D puffy stickers, you know, like the squishy ones that you used to have as a kid in like your sticker book. Um, so these ones have little tiny bears and the bears are dressed up in different outfits. There, I see a bear here that's in a strawberry hat. There's one in like a cow costume and I just, I also have these ones and on the back they call these epoxy deco stickers for mobile and laptop. So it is 3D but they are a little bit bendy and they show them putting them on your phone as well as your laptop which I think is a good idea if you want to decorate a little bit. I like the designs too, they look very like hand drawn and doodle -y. Again, with the puppy, the puppy stationery. These ones are the squishy, the squishy ones. There's actually a cat in there as well, so. Okay, so the last stickers that I got are these luggage stickers. It actually says that these are waterproof, so on the back, um, it shows them sticking them on a suitcase, you know, suitcases that are like made of plastic, or if you have a suitcase that has a flat surface, you can also use them on notebooks. I thought these would be fun to decorate my suitcase with because I actually have a silver suitcase and it was looking a little plain. I actually didn't get as many washi tapes from our box as I thought I would, considering how many they had. I mean, I say that with washi tapes in both hands. Um, but since we're on the puppy theme, I did get two different puppy washi tape. This one has a base color of red with a white fluffy dog on it. And then this one is blue with that same white puppy, but it's actually a unique shape. It's not just a straight rectangle. It is like bubble shaped. And then uh, another dog related washi tape that I got is this brown one. It's this light camel color and all around it has different breeds of dogs. I think this shows you guys how much I've been dreaming of getting a puppy. I'm just trying to fill the void with puppy related stationery, but nothing is working. The other washi tapes that I got were floral pattern. So I have, both of them actually have like a cream background. This one, it just has brown florals in a straight line, which I just liked how simple that was. And then this one's a thicker washi tape and it has pastel florals all over it. And then finally I got a washi tape with the smiling fruit characters that I loved so much. This one had the peach on it. I guess stamps kind of relate to washi tapes a little bit. I don't know how, but they actually did have a lot of stamps, like the ones that you press and they were so cute. <laughs> Look at these stamps, guys. You see the little heads of the shark with like a, a little cat, is that a cat inside? And then when you press down, um, the character is stamped on. These stamps are actually roller stamps, so you roll it along and then it stamps in a line. Then I got this stamp that has the finger heart symbol, and then this stamp has a nice dainty little leaf pattern on it. I'm so sorry the lighting keeps changing, it suddenly got so cloudy outside and it looks like the world is about to end. We're actually in the final stretch anyways. So I got a couple of pens from Artbox. I actually didn't get too many pens in general. I feel like Japan was actually a little bit better for pens because the stationery stores would have like walls and walls of the pens. Whereas Korea, I felt like was more focused on things like stickers and paper goods 
that type of stuff, which I mean, it worked out better for me because my pen collection is pretty filled to the brim right now. So if I got any more pens, I don't know where I would put them. So these ones are just some highlighters. They look really similar to mod liners actually. Uh, and I got a purple, a teal, and a pink. I got these cute character pens and these are really, really skinny gel pens, which are my favorite type of gel pens to use when I'm writing down tasks in my bullet journal. So I go through those types of pens a lot. And this one has a little duck on the end, you click it. These two aren't clicky pens, they have a cap on it, but the cap is a little kitty. And then the final two pens that I got are the Zig Calligraphy Metallic Markers. These are brush pens. Oh, these are from Kure, Kuretake Zig. I have used a couple of Kuretake brush pens before and I really like them. Oh, these aren't brush pens. Whoa, it's so weird. There's like a square tip at the back. Let me see. It's not a brush pen, guys. Okay, so the tip is definitely, it's just a chisel tip. I don't know why they call it calligraphy pen. Oh, I guess it's like calligraphy, like traditional calligraphy, not brush pen calligraphy. So, um, I mean, that's actually really useful to have. I like having like something that can cover a big surface and um, one side has a thinner end, one side has a thicker end as well. So that could be quite useful. And I have the gold one and the silver one. All right, friends, so we have made it to the end. Congratulations on getting through all of that. <laughs> I think Mother Nature is giving me a sign to wrap up this video because it is so dark outside and I'm very concerned. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these stationery items that I got from my Korea trip. I know I got a lot, but at this point, it's pretty much expected and I don't need to justify myself to you guys because you guys accept my stationery addiction. And to be fair, I shop, like most of this is for you guys, you know? So I'm telling myself that it is okay. Again, if you are interested in seeing the non-stationary items that I bought on my trip, I'm gonna link my Korea haul down below, as well as my Korea vlogs. I had such a fun trip and those vlogs are really special to me, so. Uh, check those out if you want to see all of the adventures that I got up to actually clips of me stationary shopping are probably in there as well so Now on to the part that you've all been waiting for which is the giveaway I'm not going to show you guys each individual item that is going to be included in the prize because currently it's just in a big pile in front of me But it's pretty much just going to be a random selection of some of the items that you saw in this haul So there will be some bt21 stuff some of the art box stuff some of the souvenir things It'll just be like a random Korea prize pack and I'm also going to be including uh, a couple non-stationary items from the non-stationary haul so there will be like makeup, some skincare, things like that. All of the rules to enter the giveaway will be in the description box below. It's going to be really easy to enter. It's international so don't worry my worldwide friends. And that's pretty much it I think. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!